Hey guys, what's up? Welcome for today's video. I'm bare faced. I don't have any makeup on. I usually don't come on here without any makeup. I don't know how I feel about this. <laughs> Being very vulnerable right now. For today's video, I wanted to share with you guys a full face of Dollar Tree makeup look. So I went to two Dollar Trees in my area to find all of the goodies and I spent literally 14 bucks on a full face of makeup, which is just crazy and kind of unheard of. And I was like, wow, this is gonna be such a bomb challenge because First of all, I think it would be cool to see if I really create a look that I like. And second of all, if you're really, really, really on a major budget, maybe you could really find some gems at the Dollar Tree that you'd be happy with, you know? I know growing up, I did not have the money to spend on makeup. Like, even spending six bucks on a mascara, like, was like, oh, I can't do this, I can't do this. So, this is speaking my language. Anyways, um, yeah, so I picked up a bunch of stuff. I'll walk you guys through all the pieces that I picked up as I do my makeup. But yeah, we're going to do brows, face, eyes, all of that, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing I picked up was a brow pencil. I never really do my brows on camera, but we're gonna do it today. So this is the LA Colors Brow Lift. There's two shades, a blonde and a brown on one side. They did not have any brow pencils with spoolies, which I felt like was kind of annoying because I really, really, really use spoolies a lot. So I just pulled down my Maybelline spoolie, which maybe might be a teeny bit cheating, but I, I cannot do it without it. So how I like to do my brows is usually I brush them up. I'm probably not going to do it as perfect as I usually do it because of the reason that this is not my preferred brow pencil, but we're still going to do it the best to the best of our ability. I actually think it's not that bad. It filled it in pretty nicely and it looks pretty fresh. It's a bit stiff, so just have that in mind. We're gonna go for more of a feathery brow-ish effect. So my Dollar Tree actually didn't have any primers. I don't even know if they necessarily sell any. So we're gonna go straight in with um, foundation. This right here is the LA Colors Liquid Makeup. Looks just like that. I got mine in the shade Natural. I just didn't really know what shade I was gonna be. And I bought these cosmetic wedges as well. I haven't used these in, I wanna tell you, maybe like 10 years. I don't know. All right. So it comes with like a thousand wedges, <laughs> which I think is great for a dollar. This shade might be a bit too dark for me. But we're gonna wait. This foundation is very liquidy. It smells pretty good. It smells like old school makeup. It looks pretty good on the skin. So these, so this sponge doesn't have any like give to it really it kind of feels like rocks i think it evened out my skin tone really nicely covered up pretty well i would say light to medium ish coverage and it looks good on the skin like it looks fresh not bad i'm sure if i would have i'm pretty sure if i would have had a different like applicator it would have looked better but still with this not bad at all okay the next thing that i was able to find was the la colors contour stick this one right here is in dark i love how my neighbor looks at me every time why why <laughs> Alright. Ooh, I'm impressed. This is retractable and it was only a dollar. Just place it where I would typically put my contour. I don't really do my nose always, but which one's a little bit now? I'm gonna do one side of my face just because I don't know how this blends out. I'm gonna use the other side of the sponge. Alright. You definitely have to dig your whole life in there with these sponges. So I would say if you are going to purchase stuff from the Dollar Tree, maybe invest in a good applicator because I feel like even if the products are just mediocre, if you get a good sponge, then it can really change the whole game of your makeup, you know? Okay, so I think that cream contour blended out okayly. I'm not obsessed. It really didn't do much for my face. I'm going to take the Wet n Wild crease brush. This is also one of the products I found there. And this is the only brush I purchased. Let's see if I can figure my life out with this. Yeah, they didn't have any bigger brushes or anything. So also they didn't have any um, concealers. I don't know why. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this in my face set. Even though I would obviously use a bigger brush, but I'm saying if you're really on a budget, this is okay. Like, it's doing the job fine. Next, I'm going to go in with um, this right here. They had a lot of LA Colors there. This is the LA Colors Contour Little Kit, which I thought was pretty cool for a dollar. Yeah, pretty nice. Not bad. So I'm going to take a little bit of this banana shade here. This is in medium. 
And I'm gonna put that under my eyes since I didn't have any um, concealer, so maybe this will brighten up a little. Yeah, a little, I guess. Sometimes I actually even skip putting concealer under my eyes, I'm not gonna lie. If I have like a full face of foundation, I don't care not to put concealer. After that, I'm gonna go in with the bronzer side. Oh, with the bronzer side and contour with this. I'm kind of impressed. I'm doing this with an eyeshadow brush. How cool. And it's working, it's working. For a dollar. I like this powder. It's actually pretty good. It's blending out really nicely for such a small, with such a small brush. It's doing a really great job. A little bit on my nose. Just messily. I really do that, honestly. <laughs> I just do it like, oh. It was a bit messy with the bronzer. Take a little bit of the banana powder and just bake a tad. This is working out very well. Okay, I'm gonna let that sit a moment. We'll fix up the face in a second. I'm gonna go on with blush. This right here is the LA Colors Blush in Berry Plum. It says it's a, it has a velvety finish. Okay. I'm gonna take it on the same brush that I used for like the bronzer. Wipe it off on a towel. Looks good. Okay, I'm gonna tap off the excess because I feel like it's gonna be a lot. And then blush away. Mmm. <laughs> what? This looks really nice. I love this color. It's perfect. I'm gonna take the same brush that I bronzed up with and clean up over here. You know, I'm thinking to myself, I probably would have used the foundation with my fingers now that I'm thinking about it. The sponge just didn't really do such a good, um, it didn't really blend it out well. Okay, <laughs> next thing I'm gonna go on with is highlighter this is also really cool it's from la colors and it's in glow time it's like a pinky purpley color i'm gonna wipe off the same brush we used for the bronzer and blush and use it for a highlighter it's okay it's like an icy purple not bad very pigmented one more thing that they also didn't have it was a setting mist which i think would have been bomb because i feel like it'll really just put the whole look together all right, now let's focus on the eyes. So for the eyes, I purchased two things, but you can totally purchase even one and it would be a dollar cheaper, right? So I purchased these two. So this is the LA Colors um, Chic Eyeshadow Palette. You get so many colors in here, 12 shades for a dollar. So here's what this little palette looks like. Let's see. Very powdery. Oh my God. This smells like, like when I was six and my mother was using makeup. <laughs> They're okay. They're very powdery, but um, they seem to have somewhat pigment and then we have and then I also bought the loose eyeshadow From LA colors as well, which I think you can totally skip but I felt like it can kind of add like a BAM effect to my eyes I thought it was pretty cool. Oh Cool, it's like a brush situation Cool Okay, cute. It's like a nice pinky color. <laughs> can't even see. Okay, gonna wipe off that brush that we use We're doing everything with one brush Pretty good. I'm gonna use this shade right over here. Oops. And I'm gonna set my lids with this. This has a nice sheen to it, so normally I wouldn't set my lids with shade. Next, I'm gonna go in with this shade right over here. All of these have a little bit of like a sheen to them. Like none of them are necessarily matte. Years ago when I used to do my makeup, I didn't even know what a matte was. I literally used to put um, anything anywhere, which I thought was cute because it was so like naive maybe i don't know my sister actually does that now she like puts glitter in the crease i'm like what are you doing it's a vibe it's a vibe next shade i'm gonna go in with is this color right here to deepen things up a little bit um what i do like about these shadows though is that they're very light in tone so if you are a beginner or if you really want to go for that purple look but every time you use purple it's like boom too much maybe something like this would be nice i don't know what the staying power is of course Oy. but yeah Okay, next shade I'm going to go in with is this one right here, which is the deepest one. Yeah, it picks up like that. And then with that also, I'm just going to put in the crease. Not bad. I like the fact that I'm using only one brush for all of this, you know? And I feel like I'm moving quick. It's a quick look. and But it looks like I really, really tried. Although I am trying, you know? 
I'm just gonna wipe off the brush on a towel here so it's clean and I'm just gonna blend everything out even more so. I'm so excited to go in with this shade for the lid. I think it's happy I'm it's happy I bought this. <laughs> I'm so happy that I bought this one because honestly, I guess this palette does have shades that I can use for the lids, and maybe if I wet them even with water, it should be fine. But I don't know. I'm still happy with this glittery baby that I bought. Just taking a little bit in the lid with the brush. I'm take a little bit. That she had a little bit of fallout. I'm just gonna take the brush again and just blend everything. Yeah, it's kind of creasing a little. Probably would need to use concealer to set everything. No, not bad. Not bad for a dollar. Um, I'm gonna use a little bit of this shade right over here for my lower lash line. Ooh, and you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this little baby brush. See? It's just gotta be multifunctional here. If I would use that big brush, it wouldn't work out for the under eye because it's way too big. So I'm gonna take a little bit on this. Whoa, this feels like a rock. Then, after I place the color down, I'm gonna take the brush again and just blend a little bit. I blend it up. Okay, Lee. <laughs> you can see my face and my hands. I'm a different color. <laughs> All right, we need, a, we need a turtleneck. Okay, this right here is the LA Colors um, Smudge Proof Eyeliner in black. I was very surprised to see that they had a black. I thought that was pretty cool. So it seems pretty nice. It's pretty black. I'm gonna line my waterline not bad ugh tight line i also lined my upper lash line sometimes i'll just do that randomly um okay then i'm gonna go in with mascara this right here is from wet and wild this is the full healthy lashes in very black again was actually very surprised to see this i mainly saw la girls i'm sorry la colors though <laughs> i wanted also to get false lashes which they did have but i didn't have any lash glue so here, anyway, this is what the mascara looks like. I don't know if I've ever used this. Wow, not bad though. It's giving me a lot of uh, length and it's separating well. Not that much volume, which is okay. Okay, now moving on to lips. They didn't have much to choose from, but this is the LA Colors Lip Gloss Moisturizing Gloss in Paradise Pink. Probably would not wear these two like combinations together, like this eye color and lip color together, but it's what we're working with. Yum. The very, very loud Barbie-ish pink. This is so me like 25 years ago. <laughs> it seems nice, but... What I like about it is that you don't have to wear it in a super pigmented way. You can totally sheer it out and I think it could still work. Okay. So that's pretty much it. This whole face was 14 bucks. How crazy is that? I think it actually came out pretty nice. Um, the eyeshadow is not my favorite thing alive. The brow pencil was okay. The eyeliner was really good. The gloss is nice. The mascara was really, really good. I think that the bronzer, highlighter, and blush are also pretty nice, but I think it would have been better off if I would have had a better brush. But I still think they perform nicely. And like I mentioned before, I wouldn't apply my foundation with these. I just felt like it didn't do much. I would have. I forgot to apply with my fingers. I don't know what I wasn't thinking. Anyways, definitely let me know what you guys think of this look. Let me know if you think it's, it looks like it's a $14 look or if you're kind of like, no, like that looks like it's so much more money. Because imagine I would have just came on here and would have made a random video. Would you guys be like, whoa, what's on your eyes? Or damn, you look amazing today, you know? Like, would you believe I would tell you this is 14 months? Let me know. Anyways, I'm so looking forward to reading your comments down below. Um, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.